Good morning and welcome to the Daily Download. I'm your host, Dr. Darrell R. Pulley, and happy Thursday to everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Welcome to the Daily Download because the scripture tells us that the Lord daily loads us with his benefits. And I'm telling you today that this day is already jam-packed. It is already loaded with the lessons and blessings of God. And my heart and my mind are open and receptive to receive all the good that God has for me today. And I pray that your heart and mind is open to divine unlimited ideas. Again, happy Thursday, everyone. Thank you so much for being a part of the daily download. Invite a friend, a family member, a neighbor, a co-worker, a classmate, a child church member to watch the daily download with you. Uh, share it on your page right now live and let them know that you're looking at the daily download with Dr. Darrell R. Pulley and that this is going to bless them as well if they will watch along with you. Make it some positive conversation. There's so much negativity that people talk about and focus on and you know whatever we focus on it grows and multiplies. So why not focus on something positive today? Why not put out some positive energy and some positive vibrations and some positive things to talk about today. Well, we have been affirming the truth that I am a city set on a hill that cannot be hid. Come on, affirm it again. I am a city set on a hill that cannot be healed. One more time for the subconscious phase of mind. I am a city set on a hill that cannot be hid. And every day we've been looking at the various aspects of what it means for us to be a city. What's entailed uh, with each of us being cities that are set on a hill that cannot be hid. The light of God emanating from us and shining through so that people can see our good works and glorify by our Father, which is in heaven. So today we're talking about a balanced city. Come on, say with me, a balanced city. Come on, say it one more time, a balanced city. It is my prayer every day that I live a holistically healthy, balanced, and well-rounded life. I pray that every day. I affirm that every day that I live a holistically healthy, balanced, and well-rounded life. And so that is my prayer. And as you look at different cities, uh, every city has a department of parks and recreation. Today we're dealing with the department of parks and and recreation, which means that in the city planning, in the city development, is a need for its citizens to experience the beauty of God to experience the green grass and the, the lakes, the rivers, the, the waterfalls, that there is within the planning of the city an opportunity for its citizens to experience the opulence of God and to have the Department of Parks and Recreation. Let me tell you, the Department of Parks, depending on what city you're in, they've got swimming pools, um, they've got gaming going on for the young people, various sporting teams and activities, They've got pools. They've got rec centers. It's all a part of the Department of Recs, uh, Recreation and Parks and Recreation. Some people call it the Department of Recreation, where it's already built in the city amidst all the other things that we talked about, the police department, the fire department, um, the school system, that there is a Department of Recs and uh, Parks and Recreation within the city. And so now we're looking at our own lives. We're seeing ourselves as those cities that are set on a hill that cannot be hid. And so today we're dealing with your department of parks and recreation. And so pulley point number one is about rest. Pulley point number one is rest. In order for you to be a balanced city, and the Bible says a false balance is an abomination unto God. That's right, I said it. That God desires for our lives to be in balance. It is God's desire that every person on the face of this earth live a happy, healthy, prosperous, and successful life. And the only way that can happen is by you being balanced. Come on, wherever you are, make that prophetic motion right where you are. 
heart that holds your life in balance, that you're not leaning to one side or the other, but your life is balanced. Come on, I hold that for you today. I hold that in consciousness for you. I see you living that balanced life that you desire, where everything in your life is flowing in divine right order, and there's no part of your life that is missing. And there's no part of your life that is broken. And there is no part of your life that is out of order. That you are living a holistically healthy, balanced, and well-rounded life. I hold that vision for you. And I pray that you hold it for yourself. That God is calling your life into balance. Not too far to the left. Not too far to the right. But that your life is balanced. And you have what it takes inside of you, inside of your city, to live a balanced life. And we call you into balance today. I call everything that's going on in your life to come into balance. At the time for you being an extremist and living um, in extremes of life, that that season of your life is over. That God is calling you in to balance. That God is calling you into alignment. And so when we're out of balance, things happen in our lives to create the balance, to bring us back to a place of balance. So how do we uh, live and become those balanced cities and maintain that balance? No matter what's going on, I'm maintaining my balance. Come on, let's uh, do that denial today. No matter what's going on, when you put a no in there, it's a denial. No matter what's going on, I am maintaining my balance. Balance. I am maintaining the consciousness of living that balanced life. You can live it. I'm telling you, Jesus promised it. He came that you might have life, Zoe, the God kind of life, and have that more abundantly. And a part of that abundant life is a balanced life. All right, so point number one is rest. In order to be that balanced city, you've got to get your rest. And I'm talking about sleep. I'm talking about closing your eyes. I'm talking about the drool coming from your mouth. I'm talking about the crust in your eyes. I'm talking about the snoring if you do it. I'm talking about the comfortable covers and pillow. That whatever it is for you to be able to get the proper amount of sleep. Now let me tell you, your balance may not be my balance. And my balance may not be your balance. But it's important that you discover and find your own balance as it relates to rest. How much sleep do you need to function at your optimum? A six hours of sleep is good for me. You know, I wake up without an alarm clock every morning um, because, you know, I go to bed. You know, around 9, 30, 10 o'clock, you know, my body starts automatically shutting down. I call it the computers. The computers start shutting down around 9, 30, 10 o'clock. You know, things that really require a lot of attention and detail and thinking, you know, after 9, you know, really after 8.30, that's not really going to happen for me because I, my body naturally starts, you know, getting into a mode to prepare itself for rest. And I'm telling you, as soon as my head hits that pillar, I am gone. I'm gone into la-la land. Until I have to wake up and go to the restroom, I am asleep. And so I need about six hours, six and a half, six hours to, of sleep to be at my optimum. And I'm asking you today, how much sleep do you even know how much sleep you need? Is it six hours? Is it seven hours? Is it eight hours? How much sleep do you need? I'm dealing with your department of parks and recreation today. How can you park? How can you get the sleep, the sleep that you need in order to function at your optimum? What is that? How can you begin to plan your life in such a way, to plan your city in such a way that you are getting the proper rest that you need? And let me tell you, when you don't get that proper rest that you need, you can be irritable, you can be mean, um, and things in your body, your body doesn't function as well um, in terms of its healing itself and the healing proper 
properties that happen when you are asleep and the, and the enzymes and all the things that happen when you get that rest. And so in order for you to be a balanced city, pulley point number one is you've got to get your proper rest. That's right, I said it. Ain't nothing wrong with going to sleep. Yes, getting the proper rest so that your body can heal itself, so that your body can be rejuvenated, so that your body can recover. This body is the temple of God. You are a city and it is, that belongs to God. And so it's time to take care of your city by getting the proper rest that you need. That's right, I said it. Get your sleep, get your Z's, get your proper rest. Pulley point number two. Now, being a balanced city is not just about resting, which is sleeping, but it's also about relaxing. Some people, they don't know how to relax. To relax means to, to change your pace, to function at a slower pace. You know, you work, you go to school, you go to church, you go to the grocery store, you're getting gas, you're doing this for that person, that for that person. And so... There's a part of you that just needs to relax, to just slow down the pace. That means the relaxation is different from sleeping because it's your time to be still, to just relax your body. That's what I love about meditation and the stillness and the silence. It is an opportunity for your body to just relax for your heartbeat to come down, for your blood pressure to come down, for you to breathe, for you to be able to relax to do something that causes you to relax, to do something that causes you to be able to function at a slower pace. Yes, that, that stillness, that silence, that solitude, that just relaxing, just, just being still, that, that part of you that meditates. And even, you know, with journaling, instead of typing uh, my journal, I actually use a pen and I write out my journal because typing the journal gets me in a mode of work. And I can type much faster than I can write, but it's something about writing that, that causes me to relax, that's, that brings me to function at a slower pace because I am writing. And even they're doing this new thing of getting in touch with your inner child where adults are coloring more and more. You know, yes, I said it, crayons and coloring books that adults are learning how to color just as a form of relaxation. Let me tell you, you can relax without smoking a cigarette. Oh, I said it. You can relax without taking a drink. You do not need some other substance outside of you in order for you to be able to relax. And, I, and people have it in their mind, you know, I can't relax unless I smoke a cigarette. I need to get me a glass of wine so I can relax. And, and if we're not careful, those things can become addictions to build into your life the ability to relax to be calm without needing some outside stimulus or outside substance in order for you to be able to relax so in order for you to be a balanced city it is important that you build in time to relax maybe it's taking a bath and listening to you know some some smooth music lighting some candles not going to sleep but just bringing your your uh, schedule down, you know, clearing that time and that space for you to just to be able to breathe, to pay attention, to tiptoe through the tulips, to smell the roses, just to kind of relax. All right. That's a part of being a balanced city. So pulley point number one, in order to be a balanced city, you got to get your rest so that you can function at your optimal. Pulley point number two, in order to be a balanced city, you must learn how to relax. Yes, and pulley point number three is actually recreation. That there's a part of you that's different from going to sleep, that's different from the still, calm, slower pace, that it's recreation. Another word for recreation, that's a three-letter word, and I'm gonna say it, it's called fun. Yes, it is important for you to be a balanced city. And a part of that balance is having fun, having a good time. And I don't know how you spell fun. You know, I like to play cards. You know, that's fun for me. Spades, bit, whisk, pinochle. You know, I enjoy that. It's fun for me. It's something totally different from the things that I normally do. I believe in having fun. And that's part of what helps me be a balanced city, to be a balanced person, to live a holistically healthy, but I also like to dance. You know, I'm into music, various kinds of music.
music. I like to dance. You know, that's fun for me. That's a part of me being that balanced city. What do you do to have fun? When's the last time that you just had a good time? For some people, it's going to the movies, traveling, vacation, um, it's all a part of the fun, going to museums, um, you know, um, concerts. What is it that you do to have fun? How is fun built into your life? I'm not talking about accidental fun, but it's actually a part of your city planning. It's actually a part of your department of parks and recreation that you know how to park yourself and you know how to be still and you know how to get sleep, but you know how to have fun. And that's a part of you releasing some of the stress and some of the tension of life that you have fun. They start this new thing on third Fridays at the church where we have game night. You know, we play various games. They got, you know, um, Mexican train and uh, dominoes and maybe it's checkers and chess. What do you do to have fun? Maybe it's Scrapple, maybe it's uh, Scrabble, not Scrapple. I like Scrapple, you know, it's a good food. But I'm talking about Scrabble, playing word games. Things that you do to get in touch with your inner child. Where you let go of the roles and the responsibilities and the task lists and the duties and checking the boxes. Where you're just able to just have fun. To be around people that you enjoy their company, where it's a positive vibration. Yes, it is important that we have have fun, that we have a good time, that we have cookouts and an opportunity to, you know, to have, to just be still and have fun and enjoy and laugh. When's the last time you had a good, I mean, I'm talking about a gut-busting laugh, where you're laughing to the point that you're crying, that you're falling out laughing. That's a part of you being this city sat on a hill that cannot be here, that cannot be hit. Some of us, our light is not shining because we're too deep. Because we're too spooky and people cannot relate to us. They cannot connect to us because they never see us in a relaxed environment. They never see us having fun. We're always praying and quoting scripture and principles. And, you know, our lives are so stringent and so strict that people are not able to connect with us and not able to relate to us because they don't see us having fun. And it's important that as spiritual leaders, as leaders in community, that we expose ourselves to people where they're able to see us having fun. They're able to relate to us and connect with us on a positive level of just having fun. That's right. I said that God is calling you to live a holistically healthy, balanced, and well-rounded life. God is calling you to have fun. So how do I establish and maintain? balance in my life so that I can be a balanced city. It is pulley point number one is by getting your proper rest. Pulley point number two by learning how to relax. And pulley point number three, recreation. Learning to have fun in your life. I see you as a balanced city. I see you as being a person that is emanating positive vibes and good energy because you've learned how to be a balanced city. Thank you so much for being a part of the Daily Download and thank you for all the people um, that requested that we put this donate button on. I was a little hesitant about doing that, but I realized and the Spirit said to me that when I don't create venues for people to be able to sow seed, I'm blocking their own blessings. That people were requesting, I want to sow into your life. I want to sow into your ministry. So thank you for all of those that have been giving. I pray that you receive it a hundredfold increase, abundance, overflow, and more than enough so that you can give out of your saucer and not out of your, every time that thing goes ding, you know, I say, well, God bless that person. That they continue Continue to receive the good desires of their heart. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for your seeds. Thank you for sharing this on your page. Invite your family members. Invite your people that are your Facebook friends to watch this and to learn to be that balanced city. Share it on your page. Share it with somebody today that you know needs to become more of a balanced city. I love you so much. I appreciate you. God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the daily download. Until tomorrow morning at 6 30 a.m remember god is doing something wonderful in me and god is doing something wonderful in you